Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Brigido, and today we'll be demonstrating the use of Cineflex, a human placental matrix that can be utilized to augment the repair of periarticular tendon disease and injury. And in this particular instance, we'll be simulating an Achilles tendon rupture that's been repaired with the modified Bunnell approach in number two fiber wire. And Cineflex will be utilized as an augmentation around the tendinous structures to assist in the repair. As you can see, Cineflex is a high tensile strength product it can be folded, twisted, turned, and it doesn't tear. And it receives suture in a very acceptable fashion, so you do not have to worry about the suture pulling through the scaffold when doing a repair. Centiflex does not have any side bias to it. It can be placed with either side down. And Centiflex is simply hydrated by dipping it into saline for a few seconds, and you get a product that's ready for use. You can see Centiflex will contour the surface of the Achilles tendon very well. And in this particular instance, we're gonna utilize an absorbable suture for temporary fixation in the superior medial and superior lateral corners of the scaffold to give the surgeon freedom to utilize both hands during his or her repair. Now that my temporary fixation has been performed, your surgical assistant can utilize a forcep to hold the base of the scaffold under tension to assist in your repair, or if you feel like you've got enough stability, you do not need to utilize this step. In this particular repair, we're gonna utilize a number two fiber wire, and we're gonna do a hybrid modification of a dual running interlock repair to amalgamate our scaffold down to our tendon. One of the keys to a repair like this and having a successful outcome is making sure that there's no friction between our scaffold and our tendon. We do not wanna simply just place four simple interrupted sutures around this scaffold because if you get movement, you'll get subdermal friction and subdermal friction will ultimately lead to wound dehiscence and ultimately the body trying to eliminate the scaffold from the body. So in this, you'll see at the end of this repair, this scaffold will be completely amalgamated with the tendon and the units will work essentially as one consistent structure. Essentially what we're gonna do is utilizing a medial running interlock and a lateral running interlock, we're gonna create a seam across the center of the tendon where this scaffold is well affixed. In this particular instance, the medial aspect of the scaffold has been amalgamated to the tendon and we're gonna do the exact same running interlock stitch with a second number two fiber wire on the lateral side of the tendon. This Achilles tendon rupture was repaired with an intrasubstance Bunnell repair and was augmented circumferentially with Cineflex human connective tissue matrix. Again, the importance to reiterate of the repair is that this scaffold, now if I take my forcep and I try to lift my scaffold off of the tendon, that scaffold is bound down with our running interlock suture. As we take the ankle through range of motion and we stress our repair, the high tensile strength nature of this product assist with some intraoperative stability and also gives us our postoperative benefits as we get cell attachment, ultimately tenocyte migration. One of the things that I can't stress enough about a repair like this is that this scaffold has to be well fixated to the tendon. Simple interrupted sutures are not stable enough to create a situation where you get tenocyte migration across the scaffold. And you also wanna prevent any postoperative hematoma from getting between the tendon and the scaffold so you don't create subdermal friction and ultimately a wound formation. This repair is a very simple approach to again, assisting in the augmentation of an Achilles tendon or a periarticular tendon repair.